guys, to have a brand new Mini Mates review. Today we have the Marvel Mini Mates Wave 49, Iron Man 3, War Machine, and Maya Hansen. So this is from the 49th Wave of Marvel Mini Mates, being based off of Iron Man 3. You can see it comes with War Machine, who, spoiler alert, this armor does not appear in the movie. I know, crazy. And Maya Hansen. Packaging-wise, a hall of armor in the background, with Mark 42 going... Avengers Initiative, War Machine, Maya Hansen, War Machine, Maya Hansen, and then the roster on the back, Maya Hansen, Aldrich Killian, Extremist Soldier, D Tony Stark, War Machine, Mark 42, Iron Patriot, and the Mandarin. So, as of the last couple of videos, don't watch if you haven't seen the movie, because massive spoilers ahead. War Machine. Tony Stark allows one Iron Man armor to be used by the U.S. military under the auspices of his close friend, Air Force Officer Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes. Heavily armed with Hammer Industries weaponry, Rhodey is the armor's sole pilot. Maya Hansen, an old colleague and romantic interest of Tony Stark's. Maya Hansen was more interested in the biological side of science than the technological, and she ultimately developed the extremist formula that could turn a human into a living weapon. First up, we have... War Machine. So here we have War Machine, and oh my god. This is so cool. So before we begin, we're just going to talk about War Machine's role in the movie. And by role, I mean he doesn't have one. This armor does not actually appear in the movie. But every other toy company is making this armor as a toy. So maybe it was cut out of the movie. Or something. But we don't get War Machine. Instead, we just get the Iron Patriot. No War Machine, just that. It's a shame, because this War Machine has to be my favorite War Machine. And it's just so cool. Great detailing overall. It's pretty much the exact same as the Iron Patriot, but black and gray. I mean, let's pull him in for comparison. Yeah, he's pretty much the exact same figure face underneath reveals Rhodey. It's the exact same as the one on the Iron Patriot. And he has some torso detailing underneath. Which is again the exact same, just black and gray. And that's how I like it. War Machine's cannon is also different. Instead of being silver, it's just black. So that's nice. Articulation wise, War Machine can do everything. Except move at the feet, and his mounted gun comes off a lot. But it's no biggie. And accessory wise, he comes with a display stand, and that's it. But either way, War Machine is probably my favorite figure. There's just so many cool things going on with him, like little intricate detailings like that, and stuff like that and the gun, and the face, and the everything. It's so cool. So overall, War Machine. It's probably my favorite figure of the bunch so far. Next up, we have Maya Hansen. So here we have Maya Hansen, one of the supporting characters of Iron Man 3. Now, her role is that she and Tony have some little, uh, fun at the beginning of the movie, back in the 90s, and then... She invents this thing called Extremis, and it turns people into superheroes. And then she gets killed by the bad guy because she was working for him, so she's dead. In the movie, Maya Hansen is played by Rebecca Hall. And it really doesn't look like her, it's just kind of a generic girl. With brown hair, I think it was, uh... That chick from the Wolverine movie, I forget her name. See, she's got like a purple shirt with a jacket over it. Let's see some detailing. She's got a skirt and she's got little shoes and her bag. And that's about it, actually. She's very basic. And since she doesn't really have a role in the movie, there's no real use for her. Would have been kind of nice if we got like Pepper in armor. But instead, we get this. Anyway, articulation-wise, she can do, well, everything. 
And since she was infected with extremists, I guess she can do high flying ninja kicks. And like War Machine, she comes with a display stand. So, overall, she's just okay. So, overall, that was the Marvel Minimates Wave 49, Iron Man 3, War Machine, and Maya Hansen. War Machine is really good. I mean, actually, in fact, he's amazing. Probably my favorite War Machine yet, and my favorite figure of the whole wave. And Maya Hansen is just kind of pointless, since, well, she's not really much of an interesting character, but I guess she's important enough to the plot to get a figure. But as it stands, she's just kind of there. Personally, I would have preferred a Pepper. But I hear we're getting a new Pepper, so that's good. Anyway, did you like the video? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later.